this clown should be ashamed of himself, just like all of these other vegan actors on YouTube. David Laid comes across with this young, naive persona, and it suits his lies very well. When you come across as unintelligent, aloof, play stupid, you're able to flip-flop on things, change your ideas without much repercussion. It's a far cry from the do or die vegan. You know, we've seen in the past people like Raw Alignment, Raw Vana basically crash their entire careers when they stop following the diet. David being lackadaisical about everything while developing his viewer base and having fitness as the main focus gives him the ability to sell whatever product he wants. Another thing I want to keep you guys updated on and be completely transparent with is my diet that I said I was basing on a vegan diet before. So I can say that for about a month and a half, I was 100% vegan diet, you know, not a single animal product, not even honey, like milk, just nothing whatsoever. Now that I was drinking milk beforehand, I stopped taking, consuming dairy for a while now. But yeah, basically I'm no longer like, completely vegan. Oh wait, David, what happened? I, I thought you were vegan for life. And like I said, I feel very, very good and I don't really plan on stopping for like, at this moment on, I see myself essentially doing this for life unless I run into some weird unforeseen health complication, which I doubt will happen, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying for a fact I will, but at this moment, I don't see why I wouldn't continue, so. That clip did not age well, but for some reason, he continues to defend this vegan nonsense. I got to the point where like, I felt, like I wasn't lying to you guys, like, I felt amazing at first, I felt really, really good, and then I started feeling not so good towards the end and that has nothing to do you know i'm not shunning or putting down a vegan diet like in the slightest i'm basically i'm just saying that i'm not educated enough in the sense of just knowing all you know the nutrients how they work how to optimize them which ones to cancel the other one out etc he says he doesn't know much about nutrients but he's smart enough to buy his meat from an amish farm the meat that i've been eating at my house recently is basically like get it from an amish farm where you know, there's a humane treatment, etc., all that. And I just really know that it's high quality meat. Someone who understands why you would buy local grass-fed meat also typically understands the nutritional qualities of meat and that you shouldn't be limiting it, let alone removing it from your diet. This is so contradictory, he's obviously lying. It's like me pushing a vegan diet after eating two pounds of beef, which is funny because that's what David actually did. If this doesn't blend right now, after that modification, I'm literally gonna quit everything and eat those two pounds of beef. In his vegan day of eating a month ago, he was making a vegan smoothie while throwing out two pounds of beef on his counter. You can't make this shit up. Yes, I want to let you know that I'm not basically eating a vegan diet. Basically, how my diet's changed, like what my diet now is essentially is way, way more plant-based. Like I'm still eating like a shit ton of plants, you know, whole foods, etc. with, you know, just a very small amount of meat, like occasionally. So... I went from just eating an extreme amount of meat to completely vegan to now, you know, a happy medium in the middle. These key words, plant-based, more plant, less meat, very obvious scripted new world order plant-based agenda propaganda nonsense. You know these clowns are very clever at telling people that they're omnivores eating meat but appearing as plant-based. Dude is probably still eating a pound and a half of beef per day, claiming to be plant-based because it's nondescript. It has no specific definition. You can follow a regular diet and claim you're plant-based. Americans are plant-based because a standard American diet is 75 to 80% of calories from plants. Standard American diet's plant-based, you know, it doesn't sound right, but that would be truth. So I probably didn't do it in the best way. And like I said, I did it in a very extremist way, which I recommended that if you guys wanted to you know, do it, don't do it in an extremist way. And I did that too. And after just a little bit more research, I've noticed like a common trend of basically people, you know, going into the vegan diet and feeling really, really good at first. And after, you know, I don't know, a few months or a month or six months or whatever, depending on the person, just them really not starting to feel <laughs> that good at all. And they basically slowly resort back to eating meat. And I think what I learned from that experience is, I mean, I already knew this beforehand, but I'm like an extremist and I love doing things in an extreme way, just, you know, testing new diets out, testing new things out, basically just like trying to find what I like.
This is ridiculous, and you might be wondering, why don't any of these people who feel like crap from following a vegan diet tell the truth about it? Why do all of them say the same goddamn thing? That a vegan diet just didn't work for me, but I'm still eating mostly plants. It's because they're all reading the same script. David, maybe you need some more of those liquid IVs and you'll be a more convincing actor. I found out about liquid IVs the other day, which I want to go get one, and they're insane. So basically what a liquid IV is, for those of you guys who don't know, they basically, you know, like a straight up in the hospital an IV, they put a needle in your arm with a bag that drips, and then depending on which package you get, like you get all your essential vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, vitamin C, B12, and it just, it completely fills you up and you feel very, very, very good. He was literally injecting vitamins and minerals into his body and his shoulder still exploded from a lack of animal nutrition. I have some relatively unfortunate news, so... I basically, long story short, I re injured my shoulder about a week and a half ago. And I try to remember when was the very first time that I hurt my shoulder, and then I realized it was literally a year ago. So if you look back at my videos, maybe a year ago, you could hear me complaining about my shoulder because I was wrestling, and then I was in a certain position where my arm was all the way back, and then I just heard this loud snap, crackle, pop sound, and then my shoulder was just basically in shambles. and. Since that original injury about a year ago, I pretty much re-injured it, I think like three or four times up to this point, or it could be just the most silliest thing. It could be like, I, I can be in the shower, right? I have my phone in there, and I'll be like listening to a podcast, then the phone will slip, then I'll literally throw my arm down to catch it really quick, and just that abrupt motion will just, you know, cause me to injure it again. So, this very last injury that I've gotten was definitely, it was the most painful. <laughs> That's a very odd story to tell. Uh, dropping your phone in the shower, uh, maybe that's a code word for something else. But, but what happened, David? I, I thought a vegan diet was so anti-inflammatory that it would heal your lower back. What throw you, 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 fucking smart. Fucking dipshit, what the fuck is that, these fucking people. Another reason I decided to be vegan, essentially, is that, to my understanding, vegan diets have substantial anti-inflammatory effects and the lower back issue that I'm trying to heal right now which is arthrosis in my facet joints, arthrosis stems from arthritis, arthritis stems from inflammation for a prolonged period of time so just intuitively common sense if I could do anything I can to reduce inflammation in my body that's you know logically going to accelerate the healing process so would you look at that one month into the vegan diet his shoulder crumbles apart this is bullshit. Why wouldn't he post clips of him talking about his injury in the past from some vlogs? I'm sure if he did injure his shoulder in the past, he would be talking about it in some capacity. Seems like he's just trying to shift the blame away from the obvious downsides of the vegan diet. As with this deception that these actors convey, they have to tell some truth. Oh yeah, my, my shoulder burst into pieces, but you should still go vegan because it obviously wasn't a vegan diet, even though that's the only lifestyle factor I changed. I have absolutely nothing against a vegan diet, like, at all. I'm not saying that the reason, like, I felt bad because, like, a vegan diet is intrinsically bad. It's, that's literally not the case at all. I'm just simply, I didn't go about it the best way, and... Yeah, so I mean, that's essentially that I'll probably, and I can maybe elaborate more on the comments if you guys have any questions. Watch my video on animal versus plant protein on why your body can't recover and repair tissue on a vegan diet. I've also done videos on all of these vegan athletes getting injured, especially the one on the Game Changers. Every single athlete gets injured within several months to one year of the vegan nonsense. So is there a best way to go about a vegan diet? You don't have to have good pattern recognition to see how all of these vegans are a different page in the same exact book. What's funny about David is that he's obviously not natural, eating two pounds of beef per day, but he's talking about how great a vegan diet is, as hypocritical as you can be. Uh, so, I mean, this was <laughs> kind of... Uh, fast paced a bit unusual in you know how rapidly this happened i wonder if david had to give his check back to big broccoli or uh they didn't pay him that much who knows
But thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, uh, and of course, uh, above all, share the video on various social media platforms if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. Uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.